Okay, so start and standing, please. All right. Hope you're all okay. And uh, water. Have your water on hand if you need it at any stage. Okay. So just stand in hip width apart. Okay. And I want you to just we're going to warm up the shoulders and our backs a little bit. So inhaling, bring it, bring the arms towards the ceiling. And then exhaling, leaning towards the right side of the room, pushing the, the left hip away, nice and deep if you can, but ease into it at the same time. Inhale, coming back to center, and exhaling, reaching towards the opposite side. Just ease into this movement, inhaling nice and tall, and exhaling, reaching to the opposite side. Breathing in as you reach up towards the ceiling, and exhaling to reach. Good. Going deeper each time if you can. Inhale to reach. Exhaling, getting a lovely stretch on that lateral side. Draw that belly button spine as you come back to center. Protect the back and reaching over. Good. Inhale to breathe to center and exhale, pushing away. And for three more, breathe in. Exhaling. Two. And one more. Good. Come back to center. Just bring your hands behind your head, bringing the elbows back. Okay. And placing the, the, the baby fingers just at the base of the skull, okay, where that kind of crevice is. What I want you to do is I want you to just kind of draw a little bit of tension into the neck and lengthen the neck. So kind of pull on um, the top of your neck and the base of the skull, lifting your head towards the ceiling, okay? So lengthen the back of the neck. Draw the elbows back. We're going to take an inhale here. And on the exhale, I want you to tuck your pelvis. So come into imprint position, okay? So instead of having your bum away, I want you to draw it in underneath you, okay? And then from there, we're going to take a breath in. And on the exhale, you're going to just rotate your upper body towards the left side of the room, keeping your hips facing forward, okay? We're going to inhale, draw back to center. And then exhale, rotate to the opposite side, to the right side. Again, keep the hips facing forward. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, rotate. Good. Inhale to center. Exhale. Back to center. And rotate again. Not moving the pelvis, that stays facing forward. So you're going to be quite limited in your rotation. So just go as far as you can go without uh, cheating, without moving the pelvis, okay? We're gonna go for two more to the left, one more to the right, and coming back to center, okay? From there, guys, we're gonna take an inhale, and we're gonna come out to a nice wide squat position, exhale to come down slowly. Just, uh, again, easing into it because we're still quite early in the class. Just focus on where your knees are positioned and just bring them out in line with your toes. Just have a little look down, Make sure your knees are going in the direction of the toes. They're not collapsing in. If they are collapsing in, just come up a little bit and then focus on pushing them out, okay? Or if you want to bring your feet facing forward more, whatever feels right for you. Everybody's hips are uh, different, okay? So just rocking back and forth, right, right and left, should I say, sorry. Right and left. Rocking one side and then the other, okay? And just warming up the hips a little bit. Good, I'm going a little bit deeper. And then eventually we're gonna go into a full leg extension. So extending through that left leg, holding, and then coming back and then reaching that right leg nice and long and slowly changing off the other side. Getting a lovely adductor stretch each time you lengthen those legs. Okay, pushing into that opposite knee, keeping the toes down and engaged. Always being mindful of where your toes are in space. You want to activate the tendons and the feet as well. Okay, good. I'm gonna go for two more. And last one. I'm coming back to center. Coming up to standing, please. We're gonna come into a lunge position. So bring your left leg in front, right leg behind. And just bring the right leg down, your lower leg parallel to the mat. From there, I want you to squeeze your bum and I want you to slightly tuck your pelvis a little bit, okay? Not too hard. 
and we're going to bring the arms down by our sides. We're going to inhale as we reach our arms towards the ceiling and exhale to come back down. Inhale to reach up and exhale to lower. Inhale to reach to lower. We're going to circle the arms this time. So inhale to reach the ceiling and circle the arms down by your side. Inhale to reach. Exhale to come down. For three more. Two. Big circles, please. One more. Place your hands on your hips. Okay, we're going to extend the front leg straight and then bring it back down to the next one. Okay, up and nice and control. Control, excuse me. Okay. Five more. So extending both legs nice and long. You're open the tippy toes of that back foot for three more. Two and one. Very good. Okay, staying on that left leg in front. I want you to bend both knees softly, not too much. So I'm keeping that knee over the ankle. Okay, the front of the front leg. From there, guys, I want you to just come up softly onto that. Uh, bring that back leg lifted into a nice extended position, keeping the hips facing forward. And from there, bringing your hands to your chest in a prayer like position. Just extend that leg as high as you feel comfortable, balancing on that front leg. We're going to lower the toes to the floor, and then we're going to lift it up. Lower and Keeping the hips level. And only bring it as far as you feel your pelvis doesn't start to kind of come into play. So you don't want to feel it in your lower back. So your lower back shouldn't be dipping. So try and keep some sort of neutral pelvis. You don't want to start arching your lower spine. Okay? So that leg only lifts as far as the pelvis allows you to go. Okay? I'm done. Three more. Two more. Um, last one. Good. Okay, we're going to swap over, so just shake it out. So, swapping legs. All right. And bringing the arms down by your side. We're going to inhale to reach the arms up over your head and exhale to bring them back down around. Inhale to reach. Exhale. So, we're going straight arms to the end. My bad. And down. Give me two more. And down. One more, and down, and then we're going to circle the arms to the side, up and around. Last three, two, one more, well done. Hands on the hips, extending through both legs, nice and long. And then coming back down to the lunge. Try not to lock out the knees too hard, okay? Good. Staying up on the tippy toes, back foot. Hold on. Control. Two more. One more. So, okay, bringing that back leg forward, softening both knees, make sure your front knee is just resting over the ankle bone, okay? And then from there, putting your weight onto that front leg, extending the back leg straight, and we're gonna make sure your hips are facing forward, putting the weight into the front leg, lift and lower that back leg controlled, okay? And as I said before, the position of your pelvis does not change. So you're literally lifting the leg enough to feel a contraction in the bum and then bring it back down. So not compromising your lower back. Okay? Draw the belly button fine. Good. Two more. One more. And bring it down. Well done. Okay, last standing exercise. 
All right. So bring your feet slightly wider than hip distance apart. You can bring your feet out or facing forward, whatever you feel comfortable with. Okay, we're going to squat down, but I want you to come up onto your toes and go a little bit lower. Okay, bring your hands in front of your uh, chest, prepare like position. And I want you to just hold this position up on your tippy toes. Anyone suffering with knee issues, just come up a little bit higher and hold that position. Okay, don't go so low into the squat. And holding. Feel the feet really digging into the ground to stabilize you, all the toes engaged. Working as a team. All right, feel the quads firing up nicely, glutes stabilizing you. Okay, we're going to come up halfway and come back down for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Breathing. Two, and one. Well done, shake it out, come to the end of your mat, please. Standing to the end of your mat. We're gonna take an inhale as you reach your hands towards the ceiling, tuck the pelvis in underneath you. Okay, so don't stick them away, bring it under. Bend the knees and walk your hands forward. Lovely, and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knees and then bring your hands back. Four. Okay, and then slowly stack your spine, one vertebrae at a time, coming up to standing again. Tuck your pelvis under, squeeze the glutes, breathing in as you reach your arms. Exhale, soften the knees, rounding the spine forward, getting a nice little stretch in your back. Bring your hands to the mat. Walk your hands forward for four, three, two, and one. Nice high plank, holding for five, four, Three, two, and one. Bend the knees a little bit. Walk your hands back for four, three, two, one. Stay rounded over your knees, resting your stomach on your thigh. And then from there, slowly rounding through your spine to you stack your vertebrae on top of each other slowly. Getting a lovely stretch and activation throughout the spine. Tuck the pelvis, squeeze the glutes. Inhale to reach those arms. Exhale, come down over your legs, soften the knees a little bit, so bend the knees, and then walk your hands forward again for four, three, two, and one. Hold your high plank, squeeze the glutes. For another three, two, one. Bring your knees into a bent position, going towards the ceiling, and walk your hands back again. Good. Stay rounded over the knees, and then slowly leading with your thoracic region, so this is the high point of your spine, and rounding through that spine, and then coming up, standing nice. Oh. So the pelvis, last one, we're reaching up. And come down, softening over the leg, walk your hands forward, lovely, good, and holding for five, four, three, two, and one, bend the knee, walking back, good. Staying rounded over your knees, please, and then stacking your vertebrae one at a time. Coming up, standing. Lovely stuff. Okay. From there, guys, I'm going to get you to bring your right leg in front. Okay. And you're going to bring your hands down either side of your foot. Okay. From there, bring your knee down towards the floor, your back leg. And then we're going to extend up through, pushing your heel away. So lower that knee down. And then push it up nice and long. And as you do, just drive the heel down towards the floor, please. Breathing in as you lower. Exhale. Good. For two more. One more. Stand back with that right leg and hold your high plank for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring that other leg forward, so swap over. Okay, and then lower and lift that back leg. Good, push the heel down. Lovely hip opening exercise. Good. 
a nice little stretch. Feel the weight of the front leg really pushing into the floor. You get a lovely activation. That's good. Give me two more. Come back into your high plank and hold for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Gently come down with your knees. Staying here on your knees. Bring your hands closer towards your shoulders. So narrow stance with your hands. Elbows going back towards your waist. We're gonna come down halfway and come back up. Elbows back, halfway, not fully going down. Done. Three more. Two. One. Slowly pull down onto your stomach. Well done. Reaching your arms. I'm sweating now, Barbara. <laughs> okay, reaching your arms nice and long. And bring your feet hip distance apart if you want, or a little bit narrower. Reaching the arms away, open the fingers, get a nice breath on the hands, the inner part of the hands. Eye line is down. I want you to lift your elbows off the floor so your arms are fully extended, that your arms are lifted off the floor. Eye line down. We're going to take an inhale here. Hands stay pressing into the floor. And on the exhale, you're going to slowly elevate your legs off the floor. Okay. And again, anyone suffering with back issues, just don't go so high if you feel that it's kind of compromising or putting pressure on that lower lumbar region. Okay. So never push through anything that feels wrong. We all know our bodies. We know what we're able for. So listen to it and hold. From there, I want you to start kind of swimming with just with the leg, okay? Pressing into the floor with the arms or the hands and keeping those elbows lift. I'm just swimming with those legs, feeling a lovely burn in the glutes and the back of the hamstrings really firing up nicely. Swimming, swimming, swimming. Upper body stays nice and strong, doesn't move, controls. Literally moving from the hip socket and that's it. Elbows staying strong on the floor. So you don't have any shaking going on here. The only thing that's moving are the legs up and down. For five, four, three, two, one. Rest your body down, rest your head onto your hands and just relax for a moment. Feel the heart beating. Good, body's well warmed up. Mine is anyway. Okay, nice and long with the arms. Take a breath in here, guys. And on the exhale, we're going to lift both arms and legs this time. Again, being aware where your neck is positioned, I want you to think about where your spine is and then the extension of your neck coming from the top of your spine all the way through to the crown of your head, okay? So open that space at the back of your neck. Lengthen through your neck. Eye line down, lifting arms and legs. We're going to breathe in as you bring your elbows down towards your sides, okay? As if you're doing a lap pull down in the gym okay and then extending through as if you're diving into a pool pulling that imaginary weight down squeezing your shoulder blades really really activate the shoulders and then we're reaching away again your imaginary weight draw it down squeeze those shoulder blades together get a nice activation in the lap and then reaching away breathing in reach away breathing in and dive into that pool good Legs are lifted. Last two. One more. Reach down. Relax your head down. We're going to go for one more exercise in this position. And then we will move. So again, extending the arms and the legs. Nice length through the spine. Uh, draw that belly button to the spine as well. Activate the pelvic floor a little bit if you if you can do that, please. Also, take an inhale and on the exhale, lifting the arms and the legs. 
Okay, we're gonna swim both arms and legs at a time. So start going, please, with the arms and the legs up and down. And just high line goes down towards the floor, lengthening the neck. Nice, long, fine. Good. Breathing for five, four, three, two, one, relax. From here, come into your shell stretch position. So bring your toes together and your knees as far away as you can go. Bring your big toes together and sitting onto your heels, reaching the arms nice and long and rounding your body forward. Rest your head onto the floor if you can. Okay, slowly coming back up. We're going to come onto our back, please. Okay. We're going to take an inhale, release the arms. Nice and long. And on the exhale, we're going to round the abdominal region and roll halfway down. Okay, once you get to that point of where you feel right, that's far enough. I want you to hinge from here and then lift through your spine. Okay, bring your head up. Inhale, stay, and then exhale, rounding and rolling forward. So you're still sitting nice and tall. Breathing in, exhale to red and roll away. Length, once you get to that position that you can't go any further. And inhale, exhale, come forward. Good, okay. Couple of more, please. One more. Last time we're there, this time we're going to roll back. So we'll finish those. And then we're going to reach one foot off the floor and then bring it down, okay? And the other. If you're feeling confident, you can bring your hands behind your head and hold this position. Hand yourself. Otherwise, you can keep your hands out in front or you can support yourself just gently at the back of the leg. Okay, whatever feels comfortable. So behind the leg, keep alternating those feet, please. Reaching the arms long or really challenge yourself and bring the hands behind the head. Okay. Uh, three more. Two. One. Reach the arms long. Take a breath in. Then on the exhale, rounding over here. Hug yourself, rounding through your back. And just rest your chest onto your thighs. And rest your head on your knees. Just any tension away. Good. From there, guys, take an inhale. Reach the arms long, and on the exhale, we're going to roll onto the mat fully. So, round through your vertebrae, slowly, slowly coming down to the mat. One vertebrae at a time. You need to pull the backs of your legs, do to support yourself, and slowly come back down. We're going to keep the knees bent, so bring the feet a little bit closer to your back side, but keep your feet hip distance apart, okay? Reaching the arms long. We're going to take an inhale, and on the exhale, we're going to come up. Slowly grab the backs of your legs and then pull a little bit deeper, coming back up to seated position, sitting up nice and tall. Take an inhale here and on the exhale, slowly rounding through your vertebrae. I want you to place your hands on the backs of your legs for this one, rounding down slowly, 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 slowly. Coming out of that position. Good. Take an inhale here. Reach the arms away and behind you. Exhale, come up. Grab the backs of your legs. Pull yourself up the rest of the way. But using your core as well, it's not easy. Slowly, slowly, mainly core doing the work and then sitting up nice and tall. Take an inhale here, exhale, rounding away. Slowly, slowly, slowly coming down onto the mat and then release down fully. Good. For three more, inhale, reach those hands away. Breathe in, exhale, touch the pelvis, and coming up slowly, grab back your legs. A little assistance, not too much. 
core mainly. I'm literally using my fingertips on the back of my legs to just give me a little bit of assistance, not too much of this. Inhale, exhale, round away again. Place the hands on the back of the legs. Control coming down. Good. And then reaching back. <laughs> Last one. Good. And coming forward. Inhale, nice and tall. Exhale, round your, bring your pelvis down, or your ribs down towards your pelvis. Grab gently, place your fingertips in the back of the leg, and slowly come down. Slowly, 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 slowly. Good stuff. Okay. From here, guys, I want you to bring your feet a little bit closer to your backside. We're going to do bridging, so anything under the head, take it away. Okay. And I'm going to help do this. Okay. So from here, I want you to bring your hands down by your side, feet hip distance apart. Have a look at your knees and make sure they're not going too wide. Take an inhale here and on the exhale, bring your pelvis up off the mat. As, sorry, yeah, we're gonna take a breath in here and on the exhale, come down, so. We're gonna breathe in on the way up and exhale to come down. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Being aware of the pelvis. Okay, so on that last one, my right one just went, Woo! I wanted to go down before my left. Okay, so just keep focused and aware of what's happening and stay in control. Okay, well done. Lifting and back. Inhaling as you lift. Inhale. And exhale to come down. Inhale to lift. If you are suffering with lower back issues, I, am, I know one or two do, what I want you to do is not go so high in the bridge. So don't go so high where you're pushing into your um, uh, lower spine, your SI joint. Just keep your bum a little bit closer to the floor, okay? But you can still do this exercise, but without pushing too high up. Okay, good, one more, breathe in, lift, and exhale, good, from there I want you to place your left foot on your lower thigh, and I want you to push open with your other hand, your left hand onto that inner left thigh, from here, just have a little look-see down, and make sure that your pelvis is level, okay, that you're not dropping one hip down and the other hip up, just check in. So bring this leg into a position. Don't bring it so low where it's changing that position of the pelvis. Bring that knee forward if you need to. And bring your hands back down by your side. Okay, you're keeping the leg where it is. We're going to take an inhale here. And on the exhale, we're going into a bridge position. Okay. As you come higher, I want you to kind of a little bit of um uh, like I want you to push slightly into that hip. So open up a small bit, but without again altering that position of the pelvis too much. Okay, I want the hip level. We're going to lower down, bring our bum down, and then bring it up. Good. Lower and lift. Well done. Last two, one, bring the bum down, and then from here, place your hands behind your thigh, that's on the ground, that leg that's on the ground, and bring your knee towards your chest, get a nice stretch on that bum. Good. Um, <laughs> okay, we're going to change sides, okay? We're going to place our other foot on our lower thigh, okay? And again, just before we go into this position, that bridge position, just push into that inner leg a couple of times and open up that. Holding it for a second. Leaping. 
one more, please. So, okay, once you feel like your ankle is in the correct position, we're going to take an inhale here, and on the exhale, you're going to slowly come up into your bridge position and then lower down. Your pelvis is the first thing to meet the floor or leaving and lift and lowering. Okay, so your pelvis comes down first. Breathing in, exhaling. Good. Nearly there. Three, two, one more. And slowly come down. And again, like we did on the other side, bring your hands behind your thigh and bring that leg in. Like an ankle issue. Done. Feel it in your opposite hip. Back side. Okay, from there, guys, bring your feet onto the floor, bring your hands down by your side, take an inhale, and on the exhale, bring yourselves into imprint position. We're going to bring one leg to tabletop and then bring the other leg to me. We're going to bring the hands behind the head. We're going to take an inhale here and on the exhale, come into your ab press position. We're going to do double leg stretch. So take an inhale and on the exhale, I want you to reach your legs away, bring your hands down towards your legs. Then I want you to bring them up, palms facing in as if you're rubbing your ears and then extend away. Inhale, exhale. Staying up in that ab press. Inhale, bring the knees towards you, hands to your thigh or your outer leg, and then reaching the arms and legs away together. And then back around. Okay, we're reaching away together, back around. Good. Two more, please. Reach. One more. Bring your knees to your chest, head down to the floor, white heart on your neck. So just press your head down for a moment. And look left and right. And then when you're ready, bring your feet onto the floor. Hands behind the head. Take an inhale here. And on the exhale, slowly coming up into our breath, please. Draw the belly button down towards your spine. Now take an inhale. On the exhale, bring your left leg up and lower it down. Right leg, alternating leg. Supporting your head. Have done. <laughs> Nearly there. Last two. One more. Then we're going to stay up in the ab prep, bring one leg up and then bring the other leg to meet it. And then we're going to lower both alternating each side. Lower and lift. Alternating sides. Draw that belly button down. Good. For four, three. Two, one, just rest your head down, bring your knees into your chest, rock it out. Well done. And bring your legs back onto the floor here. Take a breath in, I want you to bring your pelvis into neutral. So pubic bone, hip bones are level. Extending your right leg, keeping your knees parallel, okay? We're going to circle the leg, but I want to control again through the pelvis and not any movement happening to the pelvis, okay? So neutral pelvis, so you're keeping that pubic bone in line with your hips. So if you go too high, that pubic bone is going to lift. We don't want that, okay? Keep going. Opposite way, please. 
you should have like a little space in your lower back in the mat. Two, one, hold. Come on, lower down. Toes are pointing as you lower. Then bring your toes towards you as you lift. Point the toes away as you lower. Toes towards you as you lift. Point away. Toes towards you as you lift. Last one. Bring it in. Bring your knee to your chest. Extend the opposite leg. And then bring your knee to your opposite shoulder. Make sure you're breathing, guys. Can't emphasize that enough, please. Check in with your pelvis. I want neutral. So place your fingertips, pubic bone, hands and hands on your um, uh, hip bones, okay? And just should be completely level. Then you extend the opposite leg and we're going circles, please. It does not change. So small with the circles if you feel that your pelvis is moving too much. Okay. And again, you should have a little arch in your back, your lower back. Opposite way. Three, two, one, hold your leg there. Lower and lift, toes towards you on the way back up. Is this a different leg now or the same leg? Opposite leg, opposite leg. Sorry, good question. <laughs> Hope you all weren't doing the uh, same leg. Sorry, one more. And bring that knee into your chest. Keep going, Pamela, if you haven't finished that out. And I hope you get to the other side. Holding that knee in against you. And then we're going opposite knee to opposite shoulder. Pull that butt leg across your body. Stretching out the Good. Okay, we're going to go for roll up. So nice and long through your body. I want you to. Enough space behind you to extend the arms fully back. Okay, pointing the toes, nice long legs, reaching up. And when you reach up, I want you to really exaggerate that arch in your um, spine. Okay, so lifting that up off the floor. Okay, you're going to take an inhale here. And then as you exhale, I want you to tuck your pelvis a little bit and bring that spine closer to the floor. Okay, because you're going to roll through your spine. Okay, so exhaling and then coming up slowly, bring your toes towards you, rounding up. Coming to seated and then rolling over your legs, reaching towards your feet. Inhale as you come to seated. Exhale, rolling away. Rounding, bring your ribs down towards your pelvis. Slowly come down, bring your toes towards you. Towards you, towards you. Slowly come down and reaching back as you inhale. Exhale to come up. Over your legs. You will feel, you, as you go along, you'll get a little bit looser. Inhale, sitting up nice and tall. Exhale, coming down. Into chest, and slowly lower down. Inhale to reach those arms back. Exhale to come up. Toes towards you. Try and control that lift that you're not kind of jerking through it, as in like assisting yourself up with your legs, or inhale, coming up to seated exhale or that you're flying up and the momentum is kind of pulling you up okay so inhale exhale coming up with the slow movement goes towards you so you know that your abs are doing all the work reaching over holding sitting up nice and tall and then rounding down towards the mat and i come over and have a look at you now for the next few good Inhale, reaching those arms back. Bring your toes towards you, please. Exhale, coming up to seated position. Good. And coming down, all the way reaching over your legs. Good. Inhale, exhale, roll back. Chin to chest a little bit more, Emer. Brady. Good. Inhale, exhale. Good. Palms, hands, hands facing each other as well, Emer. Good. As you come up, palms facing each other. Exhale, chin to chest, chin to chest. Bring that chin down, good, much better, much better. Toes towards you, good. Reaching over, 
Good flexibility, Emma. Reaching. Good. Bring that chin down a little bit, Pamela. Good. Inhale. Chin down, Pamela. Chin down, chin down. Yeah, good. Much better. Excellent. Well done, Pamela. Inhale. Reaching. Exhale. Coming up. Bring that chin to chest. Looking at, yeah. Lock out the legs a little bit more. Good. Chin down, uh, Jean. Good. Excellent. Good, Mary. All the way down. Give me one more, everybody. <laughs> a little bit gentler on the way down there. Good, Mary. Bring the knees, yeah, if you're finding it hard, you can just kind of place your fingers at the back of your knees as you bend your knees and then straighten your legs as you reach forward. And then as you inhale, bend your knees, Mary, bend your knees. And then, yeah, on the way back, so sit up nice and tall. Now place your hands at the back of your legs and bend your knees, bend your knees, bend your knees. And then lower down slowly from there. Keep your knees bent, keep your knees bent and assist yourself down. That's it, that's it, that's it. Good, and relax. Bring your knees into your chest, everybody. Well done. That was really good. We're getting stronger. Well done, everyone. Okay. From there, guys, take a second, bend your knee. And just bring this to the left side of the room. Bring your right arm to the right, reaching. Just take a moment, because it's quite tough, that exercise. It's challenging. It's not like taxing them on your lungs or anything like that, but it's tough. Tough to get right. Okay, and then bring your legs to the opposite side of the room and then reaching your arm away. Breathing into it. Before we go on to more abs, okay. So from here, take an inhale. On the exhale, bring your lower back onto the mat, okay. We're gonna bring left leg to tabletop and then bring the right one to meet it. We're gonna stick our ankles and our knees together, okay and hands come down. If you want to bring them a little bit wider just to stabilize these, that's fine. Make sure this, um, you need support under your head face there now. We're going to bring our knees towards our chest. We're going to bring them to the left side of the room. Then we're going to bring them away. And then we're going to bring them to the right and back around. So we're drawing a circle with our knees and our feet, okay? Nice controls. I don't want you going so far where you're feeling a big lift in your lower spine. I want that connection there. And I want to control with the abs, okay? Do not go too far where you feel that you're lifting your lower back too much. You don't need to go too far. By moving left and right, those abs are doing plenty of work in that space though, okay? Good. This is a really good one for anyone who has um, kids in sport, particularly uh, football or well, we are like that when you're kind of moving left and right, you're losing balance, and the core is the first thing that needs to kick in to stabilize you and protect you. It's a really good ab exercise for those. Okay, go the opposite way. Good. Long left, guys, fast as flying and well done. Give me two more. One more. Well done, okay. From there, I'm gonna get you to grab your left knee in towards your chest and extending your right leg long. You're gonna take an inhale here and then you're gonna exhale to come into the out breath as if you're gonna kiss that knee. You're gonna lower and lift that straight leg, okay? A little bit higher than what you would normally do on the straight leg. But again, feeling the connection of your pelvis and the mat. If you feel that you're fucking too much, don't go so high. Give me one more. Bring that leg in, extend the opposite leg straight and lower and lift. Love the opening of the hip as you drop it down and then nice strengthening as you lift up. Good. Nearly there. Two more. 
One more. Bring your knees into your chest, rest your head down. Okay, lying onto your left side, please. Okay. And we're gonna rest our head down fully. Nice long line with your body. Okay. Make sure your ankles, hips, or ankle, knees, hips, shoulder are in line. Make sure you're drawing a little bit of tension to your abs. Okay. And that you're um flipping your pelvis just ever so slightly. Okay, lifting that lower waist. Okay, a little space for your mouth. Okay, we're gonna lower and lift that top leg, please. Just hip height is fine. You don't need to go any higher than that. It's not about how high you can go. So, so long as you're feeling a nice glute activation here and that your pelvis is in the correct alignment, along with your spine, your abs, and that's my finger. Okay, we're nearly finished. Please, halfway. Nine, eight, seven. Uh, three, two, one. Just bring that top leg forward, bend it. Okay, nice long line with the bottom leg. Okay, I'm going to lift and lower that bottom leg, keeping it straight. Four, three, two, one. Okay, bending the knees, please. Stand position. Make sure your hips are level, that they're not uh, forward or back. So have a little check with those. Okay, so one is over the other. Hand on the hip. Lift and lower that top leg. I'm just placing the hand on the hip so you don't so you feel that this, this hip is moving. You're going too far. A little activation on that lower waist, please. One more. Lovely stuff. Lifting that leg. We're going to bring the leg back in line with our hips. So bringing your knee, you're bringing that leg back in line with your hip. The top of your thigh is in line with your hip. And you're going to bring it up, forward, and back around. Okay, so circling that hip. Control, slow and control. And that leg goes back and feel a nice contraction of the bum, hamstring, and it back in. We'll go for two more after this one. One more. Okay, bring that leg back in line with your um, other leg, and we're going to lift and lower for 10, 9, Four, three, two, one. Lovely stuff. Okay. We're going to go on to our, our elbow. Okay. And we're going to come into side plank. You can do full or from the knees. So it's up to you. Okay. So I'll leave that up to you. Go with whatever you feel comfortable. We're going from the elbow, please. And then release that top arm and holding nice long line with your side plank. Breathing into it. You can reach the arm over if you want to challenge yourself, moving the top arm over and back. And breathe. For three, two, one. Slowly come back. Okay, onto your other side is your last few exercises. And you are done. Okay. Resting down. Again, get your alignment. So ankles, knees, hips, activation of the lower waist. They should be able to fit a good size hand under there. All right, and your hips are level, so have a little look down. Okay, sometimes you think they are, but they're actually not. Okay, and lift and lower when you're ready. Again, don't go so high where you feel your waist coming onto the mat, that you're pushing your ribs down. I want you to keep that activation there in your core. And as I said, you don't want to 
push down with that weight. So you know you're going too far when you feel your ribs pressing into the mat. Okay? They should be lifted and active. Um, eight more. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Lovely. Bend that leg. Place it forward. Wherever it feels comfortable. Okay. And then nice straight line with the bottom leg. Make sure it's back in line with your hip. And again, an active waist. Lower and lift. Four, three, two, and one. Legs together, plan position, please. Okay, and we're going to open and lower. Again, check in with your hips, make sure they're over each other. Okay. Mm -hmm. Make sure that top hip isn't coming back. We want to stay forward. Four. Three, two, and one. Lifting that leg over the other one, parallel to the other leg, okay? If height is fine, we're going to bring the leg back, okay? Keeping that bend in the knee, and then we're going to bring it up and around, okay? Circling the hip. Again, controlled, I want it slow, okay? Take a nice deep contraction as you bring that leg back. We move through too quickly, you won't get that same feeling. Okay. Five more. Roll, please. It'll take you at least six, seven seconds to do this exercise. I'm going to count the next one. Okay. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Oh, it's six seconds. Okay. And two more. One more. I love this stuff. Okay, bring that leg in line with your hip. We're going to lower and lift. Good. First. Nine. Eight. Finished, guys. We have a side plank and then we are done. One more. And rest that leg down. Not as long line with your body. Side plank. Okay. So from the knees or from the feet, whatever feels comfortable to you. I like to bring my top foot in front to assist. Bring yourself up and then release. Okay. Make sure your elbows are directly under your shoulder. And if you want to reach, and bring it back, you can do that. Inhale as you reach. For four, three, two, last one, one. Go slowly, and when you're ready, Make some mermaid stretch. So we've done a few stretches to raise the back. So we'll just do a few. Okay, some mermaid pose. Doesn't matter which leg you have in front. The one you do have in front wants to reach the opposite direction. So a lovely stretch. That's what I did. Okay. Five more. Try and keep that leg, that front leg down. That's down, that's great. Anyone that has it lifted like so, it's a very tight in the Okay, we're going to squat side, the leg in front, lean, and then reaching over. From there, guys, I'm going to get you to come onto your knees, please. Okay, and sit onto your feet. Hook the toes, sit onto your heels. 
if your toes are close. Okay, get the lovely back of your feet. I'm sitting back onto your heels. Okay, putting the weight on those feet and getting a lovely stretch. There, I want you to place your hands on the mat, extend the left leg, and then extend the right. I'm going to come into just the downward dog position, march out your legs, pushing your feet down. March the legs out to one knee, then get the legs straighten, and go deeper into that activity and stretch. And then what I want you to do is I want you to extend the little right leg fully and then place your right left foot behind your feet, okay? And push down with that foot and get a lovely deep, 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 deep that stretch. Oh. And then swap over. Place your right foot behind your left heel. Your both legs straight. And And when you're ready, both, both feet back down, place your body off the mat, hands down by your side, bring your fingers slightly forward of your shoulders. And when you're ready, you're going to push into the mat, reaching up, arms straight and naturally. I mean, with back issues, don't go so high, you can keep your elbows down. Okay, inhale as you go down to the mat, exhale, come up. If you're strong enough, you can extend the arms. And two more, inhale, exhale, and last one, inhale, and exhale. And just come into shell stretch, toes together, knees away. So you can sitting back onto your feet. And And slowly come back up seated. Well done. Hope you enjoyed it. Whew. I'm sweating there.